Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to talk to you about collisions in Tiled and how you can set up better uh, collision detection. So you can see here that how I originally started to do tiles was basically to have these red squares as my collisions rather than the tiles that are behind them. It's these red squares. And I'll go ahead and show you kind of what this tile uh, collision looks like in the tile collision editor. It's not really so great because it's just one square box. Um, now originally, even worse, is where you would have this box stretch all the way to the edges. And that will cause you some significant issues in game because what may happen is that you can't even squeeze through areas that only have one square tile space because the boundaries on the other tiles are actually overlapping the um, uh, the ones that should not have a tile boundary. So I'll show you how this kind of looks in game real quick by going back into Unity. So we have this scene here and I've dropped my character right next to these barrels. So let's go ahead and play that. And you can see that while there is collision detection here, okay, here's probably the worst example. You can see that this character probably should be able to walk right now, but he can't because the red square is something about right here. And while this barrel does technically take up two squares, the barrel doesn't actually fit the entirety of those two squares. There's other areas inside of those tiles um, that basically have the grass, which you should be able to walk on. Uh, and that causes an issue. It, likewise, if I go behind, like if I don't actually assign a collision to this square, and I would assume that the one in front of it uh, would allow me to go there. Maybe not as bad. Uh, the problem here is that the character is on the different a different layer than the barrel. But you may not actually want your character to be able to walk on top of that. So over here, I'll show you how I have better collision detection. You can see here that the character can basically go right up next to the barrel and more or less hover around the barrel. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a lot more realistic. So let me show you what I did for those inside of the Tile Collision Editor. Instead of even using uh, these red squares, I guess you still could. You can actually just edit the tiles directly. So, for instance, I have these barrel tiles over here. If I select one of them and I go up to File, Tile Collision Editor, you can see that I've drawn not one, but multiple boxes and only on the pixels um, where there is actually barrel there because the other pixels that's just going to be taken up by the other layers like the grass layer. So rather than having one square box or just basically having these very vague um, square collisions, I'm finding that it's a hell of a lot better if you actually draw multiple collision boxes when you import it into Unity using uh, Tiled to Unity. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how you can do that really quick. Let's... Um, yeah, let's do it with water. That's actually a really good uh, example. So for right now, I'll add a water layer and probably should go right above base. So we'll put it there. And I can either place the tiles down first or I can edit them first. We'll just put a couple here and maybe one up here. And now I'll go into the tile editor by selecting the tile, going to view, tile collision editor, and this definitely isn't a square, so if we did something like this, it's going to be horrendous. That will just cause issues and the character won't be able to walk on this area, which is probably grass. So in order for that to work better, I'm going to uh, be more pixel perfect with this. So I'm going to draw, drag it and drop one there using these tools up here in the top left. And... <clears throat> I mean, I imagine that the more collision, uh, the bo more box colliders you have, which is what these turn into inside of Unity, uh, the more it's going to affect your game performance, but it probably isn't that dramatic, and it's probably uh, very much worth it. That one wasn't very good, so I will drag another one, and maybe we go up there, one more. Uh, depending on what kind of art you're working with, the circle, a triangle tool, or even the free line tool might make more sense. So let's do a free line here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. And finish it up back there. Okay, close enough. And you don't even actually have to exit the tiled editor. 
um, in order to work on the next one. Just click on the next tile you'd like to edit. And we'll just use the free line for this one. And make it actually as perfect, per perfect as possible. If you have the time to go through all of your tiles like this, this might actually be the preferred way to do it. But we'll see how it goes in game. So just a few more clicks here. And obviously it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, the more accurate you get, you'll have a minor benefit in how it works in your game. Uh, main point of this video is just to demonstrate that the um, just having one big box and using that as your collision for every single tile in your game is not a good idea. So there we have that one. And now I will save this. Go ahead and export it with the tile to unity tool. So I believe that was map one. Yep. Big ass export button. And now we can load that back into Unity. Okay, and let's test that out. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, my character can get a lot more access to the grass um, in this specific example. You may not actually want it where your character can just kind of get in those little gaps, which are realistic in them being there, but it's a little bit weird for a 2D game. Uh, it's kind of up to you for what you want, but obviously it's going to work a lot better than having a giant square here that shouldn't really be a giant square because that's just grass from another tile. And most of this square is just um, empty space, but yet it has a box glider. So I hope, I hope that's given you a pretty good idea of how to do better collisions inside of the tiled map editor. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my future Unity videos.